which is the dislikeness of eating while the food is served and one is starving or while having the urge to answer the call of nature. The dislikeness of attending the prayer when the food is ready and whenever the person is in need to answer the call of nature. It's only one hadith, but it really means a lot. Hadith number 1753. So we have skipped this hadith. Now we are making it up. Sound hadith collected by Imam Muslim. <coughs> عن عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول لا صلاة بحضرة طعام ولا وهو يدافعه الأخبثان The messenger of Allah peace be upon him said No prayer should be offered when the food has been served No should it be offered when a person is in need of relieving himself of going to the bathroom in the first case it means if the food is there even if the iqama has been called and you're hungry not just simply because because the food is served well i just ate i'm not hungry at all so then go ahead and offer the prayers we're talking about of course attending the prayers in congregation some people who live next door to the masjid, they have access to walk, to walk from, the, uh, from their houses to the masjid. But wow, my wife was doing the final touch on the food and it smells great. I'm starving. I came uh, back from work and I'm hungry. I'm starving. So in this case, and Nabi Sallallahu said, go ahead and eat first. Because if you push yourself and you still go to the masjid, and I'm sure you can do that, you will not be focused in your prayer. He you will be rather thinking about the food because you're hungry. The sound of your stomach will be louder than the sound of your heart and mind. Likewise, when the person is resisting the urge of answering the call of nature you know when you see some kids standing on toes doing the titi dance why because i want to go to the bathroom i want to go to the bathroom some adults actually do that so why don't you go because i want to offer my isha before i void my wudu so i don't have to make another wudu can you imagine to that extent People become negligent of whom they're dealing with. You know, you're standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if from the second rak'ah, you are resisting the urge of answering the call of nature. You want to do it. You want to go do number one or number two, or you want to break one. Leave the prayer and relieve yourself. This is what the Prophet sallallahu said. Two things. If you're hungry and the food is served, even if you, you hear the iqama and the masjid is next door, go ahead and eat first. If, if, if you have the urge to answer the call of nature, go ahead and relieve yourself first. Then make wudu with comfort and attend the prayers.